Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Phil with my co-host Samantha. Hey guys, Your welcome back. <laughs> favorite reaction channel, Bars and Barbells, is back at it again with Morgan Wallen. We haven't done Morgan Wallen in a really long time. We did one track from Morgan, Morgan uh, earlier in the channel. Uh, but this is off, I think, his most recent album. Wow. And uh, this is a song that you guys were saying we should get to from Morgan. So we're doing it. And I think it's a really popular song that's done really well on the charts. Oh, cool. So um, we don't really know much from Morgan Wallen. I mean, he's, he's, from what I see, grown in popularity quite oh, a bit. Yeah, I feel like everybody's like obsessed with him. I think I know like a few friends that have gone more recently to him. I think he's on tour or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I feel like people are like really looking to get his tickets and yeah. it's hard to get them and they were just like clamoring <laughs> yeah so it probably means that we should check him out yeah and see uh see what kind of sound he's got other than the one that we did which we really liked it I was did like that, yeah. it was uh it was very um like love mellow. song vibe yeah. yeah so anyways you ready to check it out i am let's, let's do, do it, it. Sheets with your fingertips Last bottle of Jack we split a fit Just talking about life going sip for sip Yeah you, you know you love to fight And I say shit I don't mean But I'm still gonna wake up on you and me I know that last night we let the liquor talk I can't remember everything we said But we said it all You told me that you wish I was somebody you never met But baby Something's telling me this ain't over yet No way it was our last night No way it was our last night No way it was our last night that we break up I see you tell lights in the dust You call your mama, I call you bluff And in the middle of the night pull it right back up Yeah, my, my friends say let her go your friends say, what the hell, I wouldn't trade your kind of love for nothing else. Oh, baby, last night we let the liquor talk. I can't remember everything we said, but we said it all. You told me that you wish I was somebody you never met. But, baby, baby, something's telling me this ain't over yet. No way it was our last night. We said we'd had enough. I can't remember. Too much. I know you packed your shit and slammed the door right before you left. But baby, baby, something's telling me this ain't over yet. No way it was our last night. No way it was our last night. I know you said this time you really weren't coming back again. But baby, baby, something's telling me this ain't over yet. No way. Were you reacting to me or are you reacting to Morgan there? A little bit of both. <laughs> You're just jamming out. It was a good vibe. It's got a great, um, it's, it was funny because we started with the acoustic feeling with it, right? And it obviously kind of captures you with the emotional side of things. Yeah. Um, kind of, you know, draws you in. And then they come in with a really heavy bass and, and a kick that kind of overlap each other, yeah, like which it. really adds these deep tones to it and gives you then this like smooth vibe to, mm -hmm. to flow to. And it's almost like he's half rapping, half singing. Yeah. Similar, similar vibe, I think, to the last one that we did. Yeah, a little bit more upbeat, though, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, little, what do you mean by upbeat? Well, I just feel like Cover Me Up was a little bit like slower and more like mellow. And this one was a little bit more of like I could like jam. So you think it. the last one was more of like a slowed down love song. This one's more of like a dance feel. Yeah, yeah. Like I feel like it, like the other one we listened to, I feel like I couldn't have like been sitting here like kind of like jamming. It, okay. it was more of like a like la la la. You know what I mean? This might be one that you could throw on at a party. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, yeah, and I find his voice to be really unique. Like, yeah, I mean, especially in this one, because like you said, it kind of had the dance, like almost a little pop, like country pop kind of feel to it. But I feel like his voice sounds very traditional country. Like it has yes. almost that like, I don't mean it in a bad way, but a little bit of that like hick kind of sound to it, like country hick sound, where it sounds Down country. South. Yes, like yeah. his voice sounds like that. But like the song itself didn't sound super country to me. Yeah, I think maybe you're referring to it like kind of getting a pass on it being a little more popish and a little more hit single record because his vocal yes. gives you that feel that it's still very country. country. Yeah, it's almost like a blend yeah. opposed to where I feel like the other one sounded more country. To yeah. Me. So yeah, I, I like think it though, a lot. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be probably a hit record that reaches, you know, more of the mainstream, we'll say. I don't know what like a lot of his album sounds like, yeah. but I did enjoy it. It's a, it's a, you know, like I said, you or like you said, it's a blend, mm -hmm. and I think that's what makes it interesting, unique, and I enjoyed the song. So um, you did as well. I did. All right. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed our reaction to Morgan Mall last night. If you did, hit the like button for us. Leave us a comment. Let us know if there's other things from this album. I think in particular that you'd like us to listen to because it's one of his more. Uh, it is his most recent material so i yeah. would like to react to that if we're going to do any more morgan wallen for the time being so you can leave a comment and let us know and uh other than that if you haven't subscribed hit that button so you don't miss what we got coming tomorrow thanks for watching guys see you in the next one